All right, so we saw the first syntax that Tramad change mode uh, accepts, where we use the symbolic notation, plus, minus, equals, and different letters. But there's also a second option that is pretty common to see and can be very confusing if you don't understand how it works. It uses octal numbers, which are base eight numbers. So most, uh, most of the world uses base 10 decimal numbers. Every single you know, position in a number can be from zero to nine. There are 10 options. With octal numbers, our digits go from zero to seven. There are only eight possible digits. Anyway, uh, the reason that octal is used is because each digit in an octal number maps to three binary digits. So binary zero or ones, base two, I realize this could be a lot to take in if you're not familiar with any of this stuff. Uh, but for every single number, every spot in a binary number, there's two choices, zero or one. And if you think about how permissions work, for every spot in a permission statement, there are two choices, a letter or a dash. That permission is there or it's not. So to represent this chunk right here for an owner, the owner's permissions, uh, how about this example here? R dash dash, we could really represent that as switches by saying switch on, off, off, on, off, off, on, off, off. Or here, this would be on, 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 off, off. So that idea of using three binary numbers, which are switches on or off, that map to or are equivalent to just a shorter octal number, a single digit, these numbers are used to actually say, uh, to change the file mode, to change the permissions. So each one of these numbers, zero through seven, corresponds to a file mode, three binary digits, three zeros or ones. So then to really set the permissions, what we need to do is use three octals, right? We have three groups of three digits in binary, meaning three octal numbers. All right, it's a lot, but let's take an example. If we see the number seven, five, five, this first number will be expanded. It, it corresponds to a binary number, which is one, one, one. So one, 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 and then we have five, one, zero, one. That's just how you write uh, the octal number five in binary, it's one, zero, one. So one, zero, one, and then five again, one, zero, one. Now, if you imagine that those are switches, we have on, on, on. So we have read, write, and execute. On, off, on, read, dash, so no write, and execute. And then the same thing, on, off, on. Read, no write permission, yes, execute permission. So if you see this notation with a number, a three-digit number, it is three octal numbers. Each one, each digit there is actually three binary numbers. That's the equivalent. Uh, it's just shorter to write it this way. So each one of these corresponds to the owner permissions, the group permissions, and then the, the other, the world permissions. You definitely don't need to be able to recall all of this from memory, just some of them are more common. For example, seven to set all permissions, read, write, and execute on something, four to make something readable, uh, but not executable and not writable, and then maybe five to give things right and executable. Um, Otherwise, you know, zero is easy to remember. It's just nothing, no permissions for wherever you write zero. So 750 would mean that for others, for the world, no permissions. So let's just do a quick example. Let's say uh, we have the same file we've been working with, happy.txt. If I want to remove permissions for the group members and for others, just entirely remove them so they can't read, write, or execute, I'm going to need two zeros. This would be a zero, this would be a zero, right? If we look at what zero corresponds to, it's dash, 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 that's what I want. And then what do I want for the owner? I want full permissions, including execute permissions. So that's going to be RWX, that's my end goal. RWX, dash, 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 dash. So which number corresponds to full permissions? It's easy, at least for me to remember, zero and seven, right? Seven is full on, all switches flipped. Zero is all switches off. So if we look at seven, it's RWX. That's what we want. So our number is going to be seven, zero, zero. So that means turn all of these on, turn everything else off and everything else off. So let's try it. LS dash L, 
And there we are. RWX, that's for me, the user, the owner. And then the group, nothing. Others, nothing. Let's do one more example. Um, I want to get rid of the executable or execute permission for me. So I just want read and write for the, the owner. So what number is that? Read and write is just six. Okay, so I'm gonna have some number that starts with six. And then if I want uh, everyone else, I want group members and I also want everyone, just others, to be able to read, that's four. So six, four, four, if I do that, change mod, change mode, 644 on happy.txt. It's going to take six, the underlying binary digits for six. The equivalent is 110, which turns into read, write, no execute. So that will be for me, the user, that will get rid of that execute. And then the number four just allows read only for both the group members and for everyone else. So here we go, ls-l, and now that's what we wanted. Read and write for me, the owner, no execute, and then only read for group members and only read for others. So that's a crash course on change modes, octal notation. It's a bit intimidating if you don't know what you're looking at. Uh, don't freak out about it. You can always use the symbolic notation instead. But if you see somebody using this, hopefully now you at least understand how you could figure out what it means. Even if you don't recall off the top of your head exactly what 700 is or 644, you'll at least have the pieces to figure it out. All right, so that wraps up our coverage of the chmod, chmod, change mode command, how we change file permissions.